go. Let's get another episode started. It's time to begin. Shout out to everybody that's going to tune into the stream. It's time to get back to this game that I never left. Let's go. Yo, shout out to everybody coming up into the stream. Let's go. Everybody tap the like button. Let everybody get on one accord. Hit the like button. Let's work our way up. We need to get to 2,000 likes before I get to my message. I'm using my corpse voice. I'm talking very low, but there's some game that I'm about to serve and I'm about to lay it down on the ground for the hungry hounds. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody, push the like button, man. Let's get these likes up. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what time it is. Um, is. I've come back and I came to serve some more game. So if you guys want some more game and knowledge and wisdom, you need to tap the like button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's the only option. So if you're coming up in my live, let me know where you're from. And tap the follow and bell button if you like what you see. You know what I'm saying? That way you can be notified with any content going forward. What's up, Elias? What's good? Tink, tink. Uh, yeah, we got a message that we finna get to. Okay, shout out to Memphis, Bella Baby. What's good, Alexis Baby? How you doing, Alexis Bailey? Yeah, let's get these likes, but we gotta work our way up to 2K likes if you guys want some good game, man. Um, I'm home, man. I told you I'll be home. Uh, yeah, it's time. Shout out to Alexis Bailey for the follow. Uh, welcome to the family. Yeah, man, well, we gotta get to 2K likes before I get to my topic. I was using my corpse voice. Hey, I was using my corpse voice before I started the live see how it sound hey i'm gonna have to use that voice in a song for real but uh, yeah man everybody tap that like button what's up man we chilling uh i'm finna get to this game that i never left man we gotta talk some more about this kanye west situation i don't feel like i talk enough about it and i want to give people insight on this you know what i'm saying i want to have an open-minded discussion shout out to my moderators here make sure that you get the goofies up out of here where am i at uh i'm in oklahoma right now but i'll be all the way around where you at uh, i thought you i think you said you was in memphis right yeah, yeah, yeah. What state do I need to go to, man? I need to know, man, because I'm about to be traveling everywhere. But one thing's for sure, two things for certain. The only way I'm going to respond to y'all is if y'all tap the follow on the bell button. If you ain't followed and hit the bell button, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Uh, I look at you like a hater if you ain't if you ain't hit that follow button. And by the way, I need everybody to get on one accord and get us up to 2K likes, man. I give the content. Oh, Memphis need it. Memphis need me to come out there. Yeah, send in love from Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. Shout out to Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I said it in my... Shout out to I'm your effing bestie for the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. We're glad to have you. Uh, we growing every day. I make sure that I give quality content and value to the people. You know what I'm saying? We having a good discussion, a good open-minded discussion. Whether you agree with everything I say, okay, that's fine. And if you choose not to, that's fine. But at least I can open your mind and make you think. You see, a lot of people, they like lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like they can improve that way. But I want to put you through this mental gym. Handsome, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Uh... I give good game and I look good while I do it. But I see Elias is the only person tapping those likes, so y'all all need to get on one accord to push that like button, man, because before I get to my message, we gotta get to 2K likes. Yeah, we gotta get to 2K likes. Because the reality of it is, is that there's a whole lot going on out here and there's a whole lot of distractions. But my job is to get you to focus uh, with all the noise is to block out all the noise and get you to the discussions and topics that you really need to focus on and give you game while I'm doing it. Shout out to j Rock 3 for the follow. Uh, salute to you, homie. Uh, we glad to have you. Yeah, that's what we finna do to you. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, mods, get him out of here. In fact, I don't even have to touch the screen. Get him out of here. We don't do that type of stuff. Immediately be gone. I'm gonna show y'all how we do goofies. Uh, Elias, get him out of here. You know what I'm saying? We got one of our mods in here. He gonna do the job. He gonna do it how it's supposed to be done. And the haters, they can keep hating. They can keep doing their job. It seems that my mind ain't paying attention. So this is what I'm gonna do to you, buddy. Uh, all that energy that you wasted on that typing, we don't do. Yeah, we don't do negativity here. So you know you can waste your time and everything like that typing a message, but it won't be there that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't be that long because we never cared. Uh, but uh, to my new viewers, man, um, get ready because once we get to 2K likes, I got some game that I'm finna talk about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we do is we focus on a productive conversation. Um, we don't focus on the negativity. You see the haters, they do a whole lot of talky talky, but they ain't finna do nothing, you know? We finna silence them and they gonna watch from afar because they really like me that so much. They really like me so that much that uh, they just gonna sit there. They gonna do what they supposed to do. Uh, everybody has a job. Some people's job is to, hey, homie, uh, you doing what you supposed to do, so keep doing it well. Yeah, 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 keep doing it well. Uh, but uh, to the rest of my people in the chat, man, we nearing 2K likes, so keep smashing that like button. Because once we get to it, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to get a game for this episode. 
Oh, I'm a nurse. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, shouts out to all my nurses out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shouts out to my nurses. You know what I'm saying? You keeping the people healthy and well and alive. Uh, we appreciate you. Yeah. And I had a baby in a few weeks, you know, and I'm back at, and I'm back at work yet. Oh, so you on, you a little bit on a vacation, a forced vacation to say the least, but you in recovery mode. Congratulations on your baby. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You see a lot more people, they need to keep the baby. Let me just say that. But anyways, my mods, they finna do what they supposed to do. So let me tell you this, Elias, matter of fact, uh, any of my ladies in here, I know some of y'all are new, but can any of y'all uh, down to be mods just to get the goofies out of here? Because a lot of my main mods ain't in here right now, so I need some additional mods to help out Elias. Uh, I'll give you advice, but I ain't giving no advice to nobody that ain't hit the follow and the bell button. I don't get free game, homie. Uh, you got to show respect to the game, and the game going to show respect to you. And I'm about to get to another topic, so we'll get to that again. Nova Saints, uh, Nova Saints, you ain't eligible. You never tap the follow and the bell button. I don't give mod to people that don't follow me. Yeah, let me give it to my nurse, man. Uh, my nurse is doing what doing what she's supposed to do. She can be a mod. Uh, the rest of y'all, I think you hate us because you ain't following. Okay, Nova hit the follow. Okay, bet. Here we go. You a real one, Nova. Let me go ahead and do this. Yep. So mods, man, if you see anything negative, if people are complimenting me, that's one thing. But if you see anything negative or anything, you know, anything goofy, just get the goofies out of here. I don't like having to touch the screen. You see, I'm the one that's supposed to deliver the game. I don't want to have to be tappy, tappy, tappy. Uh, no, 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 homie. I want to deliver the game. So to my moderators, as new people come in, if they do come in and when they come in, encourage them to tap that follow on the bell button. Uh, and if you guys have any things that you want to say regarding to what I'm about to say in my opinions, go ahead and comment it. And after I'm done giving the game, I'll respond to y'all all. And then I'll conclude this message so that I can get on to the next episode. We do a lot of episodes, typically three a day. But there's some days where I do a lot. I did 15 the other day. I did eight yesterday. So I try to make sure I'm giving a lot of episodes. And if you happen to miss anything, it will be available on playback via YouTube if it doesn't corrupt. Sometimes these lives corrupt. So anyways, man, everybody want to talk about Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to talk about the Kanye West situation, right? Now, do I agree with the shirt? No, uh, I don't agree with the shirt, but I don't agree with BLM either. I think that all lives matter. But at the same time, when we talk about BLM, we got to talk about the real. It was a scam. The founders of them, the founders of that group, they used all the money and profited over it, billions and billions of dollars for themselves and their own financial gain. They didn't do nothing for the communities. You see, after all the rioting and the looting of our own stores and stuff like that, when I say, oh, I'm not including myself, but I'm talking about my people, I'm mixed, but, uh, you know, I happen to be a part of this culture, so I'm going to just say it like this, homie. We did all that. We destroyed the last of our mom and pop stores for what? We did all that, right? We caused an uprising. We had it all over the global news. But what's next? Has our education system improved? Are our impoverished people living a better quality of life? Do we have more young African Americans on the path to success? Have we done anything monumental following that huge ordeal that we didn't know? The people that founded it, they did it. You see, I said this before and I say it again. We got a lot of villains out here trying to play hero. I'll say that once and I'll say it again. We got a lot of villains out here trying to play hero. And they're doing it well. Because they got y'all fooled. Your favorite rapper is a villain, but he playing hero. You see, a lot of what you guys got to understand is the top artists, who is their audience catered to? It's catered to the youth, right? Okay. But what is their message? Their message is for destruction. So it's the best definition of hypocrisy because they said they do what they do to uplift the youth. But what is the music talking about? The destruction of our own people. But do you see rioting and looting and etc. for that? When another brother go out there and rock another brother's snot box? Do you see that? No, you don't see that. We don't talk about that. We sweep that under the rug. Because statistically, what we do to one another outweighs anything else that we get out here on these streets and act a fool about. Well, we don't want to talk about that, though. We don't want to talk about how in 2012, there were more young African-American babies that left this world than came into this world. We don't want to talk about that, though. You see, anytime that statistics come into the equation, that's when people get triggered because they have no basis to stand on anymore. And that's why I'm saying all that to say this. You got to look beneath the lines. You got to read between the lines. Hey, yo, moderators, get that goofy out of here. Get that goofy out of here. Mute. 
You can, you can remain as one of the viewers, but you won't be talking no more. Hit the mute button. See anything goofy like that, just get them out of here. We won't even say their usernames or read their comment. We won't recognize them. But tap the mute button and the block button. I want you immediately gone out of my life. Moderator, take care of that now. Goodbye. Watch this. I can use the force and you'll be gone. Boom. 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 Anytime now. Let's go. Anytime now. Let's go. Elias, get him out of here immediately. See what happens? Yeah. And you ain't here no more. Yeah. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha. Keep watching alive, okay? You can't speak no more, grandson. But um, anyways, back to what I'm saying. You guys have to understand that. You are enraged by what Kanye did, but it's making you think. And anything that makes you think, even if it pulls on your emotional heartstrings, you're going to go want to go get facts so that you can disprove whatever you're emotionally compelled against. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to tell y'all, man, is you're right to be enraged by it. Because the message of BLM and the reason that we went out there and we did everything that we did, uh, get the goofy out of here. Continue getting... The, Hey, Elias, make sure that you pay attention and immediately get the goofies out of here. I don't even want to have to call them out. When my other mods are in here, they make sure that they immediately get them out of here. So I need you to keep the same energy. Hit the mute and hit the block. I don't want to have to keep talking about this. Get them out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get the goofy out. Goodbye. Mute and block. Immediately mute and block from now on. I don't even... Like, it's, it's way too slow. My moderators, I'm going to tell you one thing. I will take your moderator position away if you don't do what you're supposed to. When my other moderators come in here, they get the goofies out of here immediately. I should not be seeing that, bro. I should not be seeing that. So anyways, what I will tell you guys is you have a right to feel a certain type of way because these lies matter, those lies matter, all lies matter. And the original message of BLM was very genuine. But for you guys to still be sitting around and not being as outraged at the founders as you were when all this was going on is crazy to me. It's hysterical because... Look at what they've used it for. They used it for financial gain. They're driving in Lamborghinis. They have properties that are in the billions. But what about the what about the parents of the victims who this all originated for? They're still living in the hood. So what was what was the point of all that? It was the villain playing the hero so that they can meet their own agenda. It was the villain playing hero so that they can meet their own agenda. And guess what? Once the villain met their agenda, what they do? They showed you that they were villain, and they left. The founder left the organization into the hands of whoever else. But it just goes to show that they used you. They pulled on your heartstrings so that they could get a financial contribution to their pockets. Something, something just ain't right. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. Y'all got to read between the lines. And the enemy will always try to plague your mind with distractions. Just like the goofies that try to come into my chat. But when the game is being given and it's being served and you believe in what you say and you stand firm on it, nothing can mess with that. Nothing can distort your message. Because I give it true and I give it to the truest form. But with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode. I just feel like I had to add a little bit more on the topic of the Kanye situation. So I'm going to read the comments of everybody that has something to say. And then after that, I'm going to conclude this live. But I'm going to come right back with the next episode. And this episode is going to be more so advice more than just trending topic but I had to talk about all that you know what I'm saying and if you're new in here make sure that you tap the follow and the bell button that way you can be subscribed to the family yeah 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 so let me read facts I'd join if I could I don't know what you mean by that but uh, appreciate you for the rose appreciate you for the follow appreciate you for oh shout out to Nova Lynn for the roses thank you yeah, man, real talk, man. My mom's got to do a better job, man. Y'all better get the goofies out of here quicker. I shouldn't even be seeing, I shouldn't be seeing none of these messages. My mom's do better than that. Okay, there's a difference between a company and a message. F the company, but black lives do matter, most definitely. But if black lives matter, we need to quit pointing at every other race and talk about all the mass M-U-R-D-E-Rs that's going on in our own backyard. Before you talk about how dirty someone else's backyard is, look in your own. That's all I got to say. We sweep that under the rug and we bypass that all the time when it's going on every day and it's going on at a higher rate. Like I said, we're 7% of the population, but we're 40, we're 7% of the population, but we're 43% of the H-O-M-I-C-I-D-E-S in the United States. How does that make sense? How is one of the least, one of the most least, um, how is one of the most least ethnic backgrounds in America the most dangerous? That doesn't make sense. Drake did what we talking about? Okay, so this is just much of hearsay. Shout out to Nova Lynn for the follow. Thank you, and thank you for the roses. Okay, 
speaks the truth, for real. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 man. And uh, I know I make the haters mad because I'm talking about topics that they want to sweep under the rug. No, no, no. We ain't sweeping nothing under the rug. Uh, we're completely against the structure. We're against gang violence. We're against the drill rap scene because in that scene, all they do is diss other, diss other people's DEAD homies and they speak poorly. And what does that do? Like I said, their audience is catered to the youth. So these people that are rapping nine times out of 10, they ain't even in those environments and doing those type of things anymore. But guess what? The kids that's reciting the lyrics, they out there getting their snot box rocked because they're really out here on demon time. You see, we live in a society now where these rappers are literally telling you they're on demon time. They don't care about what's going on in the hood and going on in here and the repercussions. All they care about is a financial contribution. And like I said, they're villains trying to play hero, man. But y'all don't get it though. Y'all don't get it. Y'all idolize. Y'all idolize. Y'all have a false sense of identity with them and who they, you think they're someone else other than what they're showing you. But let me tell you something, man. When a person show you who they truly are, don't overlook or underlook it. Look at them exactly how you're supposed to. Level-headed and keep your mind open. Bro, crazy thing is that after all that was, that's what I'm saying, but not even that. No, 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 not even that. It's the fact that the founder of that was funneling all that money and using it to buy properties and to buy expensive cars and to do all these things but the victims the family of the victims they didn't get anything they're still living in the hood to this day i had to but my kids bulletproof in case of issue that that's crazy that is crazy but that's the society that we live in uh like Hassan campbell says it's safe to say it ain't safe outside so you got to watch how you move and with that being said i'm going to conclude this episode make sure that you guys tap the follow on the bell button i will be right back after this with the next episode hope that you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live Peace.